So we talked about um, why we need conservation biology, and we said population growth and ecological footprint. So now I want to spend a little bit more talk time talking about what conservation biology is. And it's really multidisciplinary, but it is grounded in science, um, which is why it's a biology and environmental science um, class. So science is the use of evidence to construct testable explanations and predictions of natural phenomena, as well as knowledge generated through this process. So this tells us um, that you can't just say anything is conservation biology. It needs to rely on um, data that we've used to look at different natural phenomena, test different ideas, and then we discard ideas that are not supported by the data. Conservation biology is very multidisciplinary and it does include the basic sciences as well as resource management. Um, and there's lots of different things including um, things studying people, things studying animals, all kinds of different things. Um, so here we see basic sciences include um, everything from the client, climate to ecology to um, environmental studies, which includes economics, ethics, and law. Evolution is important, as well as population biology. We will spend quite a bit of time um, on population biology, but also includes things like taxonomy. Resource management is kind of what we do to manage these different resources. And so that involves things like agriculture, education, um, managing fisheries, forestry, um, the things you might think of the most, like zoos and managing protected areas, but also sustainable development and a lot of other resource conservation activities. So I said it draws from many disciplines. It's also a normative discipline. Now this is a confusing term for a lot of people, but if you're in the social sciences, um, you might know this word. Um, it means that it's value-laden, meaning values like moral values, um, not like money values. Um, and so there are certain moral ethical values that conservation biology embodies that are really important um, to remember. Um, and so some of these include things like how do we weigh the needs of peoples against those of non-human species, what is the value of a life, um, human life relative to a species of wildlife like a tiger, um, do mosquitoes have intrinsic value or rights, how do we weigh the interests of future generations relative to the present, and this is a really big question. Um, so we all need resources now, but people are going to need resources in the future. So how do we make decisions based on those two things? Um, should we be concerned about um, species that might go extinct in the near future? And should we do something about it? We can study what is happening or how something might affect something else but it's really more of a social, moral, ethical um, thing to think about. When we get to conservation biology, what should we do about this? And that's something that society needs to answer. Um, and then we can even think about, should we put money towards restoring um, certain ecosystems in certain areas? And so this example is longleaf pine savanna in Louisiana, which is an endangered ecosystem in our area. So there are some distinct ethical principles of conservation biology, and these are the ones that um, tend to be accepted. So biological diversity has intrinsic value. That means it has a right to exist no matter what people think. Untimely extinction of populations and species should be prevented. So we have biological diversity good, untimely extinction or er extinction bad. <laughs> Diversity of species and complexity of biological communities should be preserved. And science is critical for understanding ecosystems and that collaboration among scientists, managers, and policymakers is necessary. So you may or may not agree with these different statements, but these are underlying ethical principles of conservation biology. Because conservation biology is a value-laden 
normative discipline. So normative, that's what's telling us that it has these values. And I like to compare conservation biology to medicine um, because we can study lots of things about the human bi body. We can understand different diseases, different um, treatments. Um, but when it comes to its core, when doctors become doctors, the, the discipline of medicine is valuing human life and valuing health. Um, and they're taking an oath that says that they should help people have better health. They should help people um, be saved from, from dying when possible. Um, and that they should work to better um, health overall for people. Um, so conservation biology is a little bit like that, but instead of people and people's health, think about ecosystems and biological diversity. It's the same kind of thing. I also want to point out that conservation biology is um, an important discipline, but a lot of things we think about as being associated with conservation biology aren't necessarily the same. So one is a conservationist. It's not necessarily the same as a conservation biologist. That's a person who advocates or practices the sensible and careful use of natural resources, resources maintained in a healthy condition. Um, and so that's very related to conservation biology. A preservationist is a little bit different in that someone who advocates for allowing some ecosystem and creatures to exist without significant human interference. There is an environmentalist, which is a person who is concerned about the impact of people on environmental quality. Um, this could be an average citizen. Um, so could a preservationist. It's not necessarily um, a scientist. An ecologist is a scientist who studies the relationships between organisms and their environment, but they're not necessarily a conservation biologist, even though a lot of ecology does overlap with conservation biology. So an ecologist looks at these relationships, but isn't necessarily concerned with the values that we talked about in conservation biology. So this wraps up chapter one and gives you an overview of why we need conservation biology and what the basic um, tenets of conservation biology are.